What is up, guys? How you doing? It's James here from J Ray Games, and I'm back again with another video. And today I am going to show some gameplay of how to set up DCS World for your PSVR on the PC. It's free. It's awesome. It plays great on your PSVR. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. All right, well, today we're talking about DCS World. It's a game that has been out for a while, and I'm trying something new, and I might do this weekly. We'll see how it goes, but I want to feature free games so that, you know, you've already invested in the PSVR. You've already invested in all the stuff to get this up and running. Now you should be able to just kind of relax and enjoy some games. And so I am going to I am going to focus on some free games from time to time because I think that's important. Some of them are really excellent. And today we're going to look at DCS World, which is a flight simulator. It is also ground uh, combat and water combat. It's it's an awesome game. And it was built with VR support, which is fantastic. And it works really well. It looks really great. And it's relatively easy to set up. So I want to show that. I'm going to be using my Saytech uh, Hotas here. Uh, if you don't have that, that's okay. You can use a controller. You can use other things as well. But I really think that this gives you that ultimate immersion in VR. It looks great. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to get this set up. Okay, well, here we are, ready to go. And I haven't started up Steam yet. I have, Or, I mean, I haven't started up Trinus. I haven't done anything with Steam VR yet. Because what we're going to do first is download the game which I've already done and so if you go into uh, your Steam and uh, we'll just go into my game library you'll see here that I've got my DCS world already downloaded and if I go into properties um, you'll notice that there's no specific beta for VR alright it already comes included with the game uh, but you can go back some people say that they have better success with 1.5 uh, the latest one I believe is 2.5 so I just kind of left that uh, you want to make sure that you use the desktop game theater is turned off it should be turned off by default but we're gonna close this up and we're gonna leave it as is and what you're gonna see when you right click the game is you have a bunch of different options as to how you can play this game if you just go play a game without Steam VR loaded up it's just gonna play as a regular game you can also launch it in Steam VR mode, you can launch it in Oculus mode, and you can launch it in 2.5 mode in Steam VR as well. When you are setting this up for your PSVR, it's very important, at least from my experience, that you start this up first in non-VR mode. So I'm just going to hit play game. And what we're going to be able to do when we do that, let me just turn down my sound because I'm sure it's going to be loud. Uh, what we're going to be able to do is get all of our graphic settings set up, or sorry, all of our graphic settings set up for VR before we actually try it in VR. Now, at first, I didn't do this, and I found that the game played really badly, um, and it, it crashed quite often. So I strongly recommend that you try it in non-VR first before you attempt it in uh, actual VR mode. All right, so it's going to take a few seconds. Let's just wait for it to load up. Uh, my Oculus, I don't know why. I think that's Revive. That's forcing it to run every time. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. It's loading up. Sorry if I lost you for a second there. My game is loading up. And this is the non VR version. You can tell because it's taking up my whole window. And uh, we can see the entire game. Now, I don't have an account. I'm going to make one eventually. Just don't have it yet. But the most important thing is once you've got the game loaded up like this, you want to hit the settings button up here. to, Or the options, I guess, to go in and adjust the settings for this game. Now, the nice thing about this is in your presets, it has a VR option. So if you click VR, it will adjust all of these for the best... Uh, performance in VR 
I started with that and then I tweaked it from there. If you want to screenshot this and, and copy my settings, no problem, go ahead. My controls are also different because I got the Satec, so that might be a little different for you guys, depending on what you have. But other than that, I didn't tweak anything else from default. So I'm going to hit OK. I want to make sure it's all nicely set up for VR first. Now I can exit. All right, and now what I've done basically is created all my settings. And it should remember, you'll notice that Steam tries to run. Sorry, Steam VR tries to run, so I'm just going to quit that. All right, and I'm just going to pause it right here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Steam VR running, get all that set up. If this is your first time, you haven't done that before, watch my video on how to set that up. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back in Steam. Um, I've got Trinus. I've got uh, Steam VR running, and you can see that it's tracking beautifully. I am using my Nolo um, because I'm recording right now on the webcam. Um, it's hard to use the webcam and record at the same time, obviously. But you can use the Trinus positional tracking. It's going to work well. Or you can use PS Move Service, whatever you've used in the past, if you want positional. This game doesn't really require it, but it adds a little bit of extra to the game if you have that. All right, so you can see that everything is calibrated nicely. It's ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into Steam. And in Steam, like I said, if you right-click DCS World, you're going to see some options on how we can play this game. Personally, I have had the best luck by going Launch VR 2.5 in Steam VR mode. Another thing that was suggested by one of uh, my commenters on the channel uh, was to use Steam VR Beta. And that seems to have fixed a few problems. So if you want to try, if you are having a few issues, try Steam VR Beta and see if that solves uh, those issues. I'm going to right click, I'm going to launch it. Uh, it's going to come up on my screen with a window or with a mirror already so that you guys can see what I see. Here it comes right now. I'm going to get my headset on. I got Oculus that comes up as well. Don't ask why. It just seems to launch when the game launches. I have a feeling it's a conflict with uh, with Revive that I have. But you can see that now it is tracking and we are in the menu. So I'm going to put this on and from here on in you're going to see actual gameplay. All right, so I'm in the headset and I'm looking at the main menu right now, just as you guys see there. And oh, I forgot a very important thing. Something that I changed, but I forgot to tell you guys. In options, okay, under VR, okay, you see the VR tab? You want to turn on use mouse before you come into the game. Because what that will allow you to do is use your mouse while you're looking at the screen. You can also adjust the pixel density, which is nice because it makes it look clear. Um, I found after 1.5 I started to get a bit of stutter. But uh, this is all good stuff. Uh, again, you should set this. So we're going to go back to the main menu. Uh, I'm just going to close this off. And I'm going to just go to instant action so you guys can see how it looks. All right, we're just going to go free flight. And I've got my Satec ready to go here. You should see a menu that is a loading screen coming up in a second here. And in a moment, we will be in the cockpit. I'm just going to reset my view just to make sure it looks good when I get in here. And I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how it looks when I'm actually flying. Like I said, this game plays wonderfully on the PSVR. It looks great and it really, really plays well. Okay, so here we are in the plane and you can see that I'm a little bit too high for the plane right now. Now this is where Trinus comes in really handy depending on how you calibrated your uh, your game. I can go in here and I can just use my height slider to pull myself back down into the cockpit and that's not going to affect anything. It's going to work great. Okay, and I can look again and I can say, oh yeah, okay, now I'm a little too low. All right. Again, this is probably because of the way I calibrated when I was getting set up to show you guys. No big deal, easy to fix, and I'm just going to close that. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys can see really well. And um, okay, so you can see here how amazing this is. Um, I can look out my windows. Now obviously I haven't started flying yet, but you guys can see how beautifully 
this tracks right now. This is wonderful. And it really, really feels like I am inside this plane right now. Okay, so I'm going to hit fly. I'm going to do a little bit of flying. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Here we go. All right, you can see my Satec is responding beautifully on my throttle. My stick is working beautifully. And I am flying over, I have no idea, some city, maybe in Europe, maybe in Russia. I don't know. This is a Russian plane, so I think anyways, it looks like Russian writing down there. Yeah. But as you can tell, guys, this is incredible. The simulation is perfect. It really feels like I'm flying this plane. And when you get into the dogfights, when you're actually you know, going against other players and, and you're doing the online part of it, it is wonderful. All right. Another game that I featured before was War Thunder. Very similar. But I would say that this one definitely, to me anyways, looks more realistic and uh, just has, has a better feeling overall. Now, if you're experiencing any sort of stutter or you're finding that it's lagging, Remember, you've got that pixel density slider that you can control. And of course, you've got your graphic settings that you can adjust in the menus as well. So you got a lot of options to get this to work properly for whatever video card or computer you have with your, with your specs. Now, I'm not going to do any air combat here or, you know, go into any dog fights or anything. But you get the idea that this game works really, really well. And again, the screen does, doesn't, never does it justice to what you're actually going to see when you play this in VR. I mean, it, it honestly feels like I'm flying over this city right now and uh, probably blowing out all the windows with, uh, you know, the roar of my jet. Uh, it's pretty incredible and it works really, really well. So this is definitely a game I recommend. It's free, which is always a bonus. Um, it does, you know, kind of test your computer a bit because, you know, you can really crank the settings and see what it does. But it, it feels good. It runs really well. And it's an awesome, awesome simulator. And it's an awesome game just all around. You really get a sense of immersion in this game for sure. All right, so I'm going to pause it right there. As you can see guys, that works really, really well. And for a free game, like I said, this game is fantastic. And I actually recommend anybody, even if you're not a Flight Simulator fan, I, I recommend you get this game just to test out your PSVR and see what your computer is capable of. All right, it works really, really well. Anyways, if you've got any questions, make sure to comment down below. If you like the stuff that I'm producing, make sure you give it a like, make sure you subscribe. Give me suggestions for games that I should try, and I will get around, hopefully, to all of your recommendations. If you had a great experience with your PSVR on your PC, make sure you share that. I'll try to post more often, alright? So till next time, thanks for watching.